Inside the control room, tension mounted as the seconds ticked away to zero hour. A weapon so terrible that, Britain argued then and now, it helps guarantee peace. 1952, it explodes its first nuclear bomb off the coast of Australia. Today, its nuclear weapons are exclusively on just four submarines, at least one of which is always armed at a secret location at sea. Britain builds the bombs and the submarines, but the missiles come from the United States. If relationships between the United States and the United Kingdom broke down to such an extent, the United States was no longer willing to continue to maintain our missiles, then over time, uh, the capability of those missiles would deteriorate. And at some stage, after a number of years probably in the case of the missiles, we would have to give up our nuclear force or build our own missile maintenance capability. This is the site west of London where Britain's nuclear weapons are made. And it's here that they have been made for many decades. And during all that time, this place has been a focus of protest from peace marches in the 50s and 60s to the nearby peace camps of the 80s. Amongst all the nuclear armed states, opposition to these weapons has been greatest in Britain. And prime ministers have preferred to retain an element of doubt as to whether they'd ever use them, which made this debate so unusual. Is she personally prepared to authorize a nuclear strike that could kill 100,000 innocent men, women and children? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. The whole point of a deterrent is that our enemies need to know that we would be prepared to use it. But the leader of the opposition, much more hesitant. Are you saying there are no circumstances Look, under which you'd use it? Any circumstances where anyone's prepared to use a nuclear weapon is disastrous for the whole planet. Although most British MPs do believe that the threat of use makes Britain safer. The only time there has been a nuclear weapon strike in the world was at a time when only one nation held that capacity and so it is in being able to be part of overall nuclear security as we push towards a nuclear free world which is really important that the UK can play its most effective role. In other words in an unstable world don't expect Britain to give up its nuclear weapons anytime soon. Barnaby Phillips Al Jazeera, London.